Hey guys, Josh here, and today I thought we'd take a look at something a little bit different. This is going to be an in-depth look at Transformers Genesis, the art of Transformers. Now, previously on the Cybercast episode 38, we actually mentioned some things that we thought would be good gift ideas for, you know, children or even adult collectors that love Transformers. This is something that I mentioned for the adult collector. This is a really nice coffee table piece that, uh, you know, you have friends over, you probably don't have Transformer figures, you know, in your living room and things like that. Maybe your wife won't allow you to have that, but you want something just to kind of represent that. This is something that people that aren't even Transformer fans, or maybe they can even reflect back when they were, uh, they can look at and just be amazed by the beautiful artwork in here. I mean, there's artwork done by all types of people. Uh, Dan Kahan actually signed mine, so he does have some artwork featured in this. Now, this does carry a pretty high price value. So this is something that I necessarily wouldn't buy for a younger Transformer fan, unless, you know, they take good care of books, and it's something that they'll be able to hang on to for the rest of their life. I mean, you got G1 stuff, Beast Wars, Robots in Disguise, and list kind of goes on and on and on. Uh, but this price value of this book, the cheapest I saw it was $99 as of, you know, this past weekend. So uh, that kind of gives you an idea of how much this is going to cost you. So um, it does, it is a, you know, nice uh, hardback. Uh, it does come with this paper cover right here. So that's something that I took off just so we can look at the book. But it's basically just artwork. There's nothing to read in here. But I wanted to kind of show you all the pages just because it carries that $99 price value. Uh, you really kind of want to know what you're getting if you're going to buy this book, just because it's a pretty not big investment, in my opinion. But as you can see, you have some pictures here. kind of gives you a little bit of detail of uh, what you're going to see. And the first thing that we see here, Megatron, he's ripping off Orion Pack's head. So really cool artwork there. It tells you right here at the top uh, on each side. It's Generation 1, Megatron. And down here at the bottom, I can't pronounce his name, so I apologize, but uh, it has the artist that actually did this. So... Uh, really cool and if you ever look for you know you're like I really love that picture of Optimus Prime you know I'd like to get that a little bit bigger and you know maybe blown up so I can get it framed and stuff like that and hang it up because I think it's a really nice artwork piece you know what to look for there's the you know the artist name you can just kinda go through his things and uh, maybe even you can take this into some kind of printing shop and they can blow that up for you so there you go but I just wanted to kinda show you the pages here and it tells you, you know, who all these people are. You know, there's Megatron. It's the technical design and uh, Dr. Uh, Arkaville. And it's done by E.J. Sue. So I'm not going to pronounce all these things. And there's Optimus Prime, and Spike. So really cool. The Devastator. We've got Me uh, Metroplex there. And let me just make sure everything's showing up. Uh, there's a little bit of a glare. I apologize. But uh, not really too much I can do about that. But there's Scorponok. You have Overlord there, and it tells you what series they're from, you know, where they're saying Generation 1 for Scorponok, so uh, they should probably say Headmasters there, but uh, this says Master Force, you know, for Overlord. And it's really cool because if you, you know, want to know who any of these people, what series they are from, you can refer to that as well. You got Me uh, Metroplex and uh, Trypticon there, you got the Dinobots and Devastator. And there's some Beast Wars, there's the Maximals, and there are the Predacons. I know these are kind of sideways, but uh, you know, just keep on looking at it like this. That's the best I can do for you guys. Uh, this is done by Dan Kahan, and yeah, he actually signed it for me, so I don't know if that's showing up, but he signed it for me there. I actually have one of his bigger prints, and a lot of these guys, they'll have, be it like BodCon or TFCon, and they'll, they'll be selling much larger prints that I went and had this, you know, framed. It looks really nice. We got Prowl there, and there you got Sideswipe and Starscream. It's a nice little picture of Megatron, and you can see that it's more, you know, catered to, uh, you know, his toy because you can see the little pistols and stuff like that, or the the hammer to pull back for his gun. Optimus and Rodimus, uh, probably. And there's Hot Rod, Galvatron, or not Galvatron. Sorry, I saw that uh, Shockwave there. And Tripredicus, and then you have Magnaboss. So really cool. Uh, I know uh, uh, Dakota's done a review on that guy, and the toy doesn't look anything like that, but uh, that's very cool looking. You got Trollbreaker, and then you have uh, Jazz and Mirage. There's Shockwave, Ultra Magnus. Some Pat Lee stuff. Uh, there you have Sludge and Grimlock, Snarl, and Swoop, 
and slag and then uh, shrapnel which is the very first generation one transformer that uh, you know my parents or grandparents bought me he's the guy that got me into transformers when I was a kid so very cool always had a little soft spot for him there's kickback and there there's a bombshell Optimus and Megatron Uh, there's Optimus with the American flag there. So, uh, you know, that's a really cool picture. That's something that you might get blown up. Uh, there is Beast Wars Megatron to the right there. Uh, really cool there. I like that Optimus. There's Starscream. And Shockwave. So, uh, you know, a lot of these things you'll see on the comics. And, like, this is done by Mark D. Bright. Uh, so, you know, a lot of these guys, they're the ones that did, you know, those, uh, you know, the uh, comic book art uh, as far as, you know, the covers and things like that. So you'll kind of notice a few of these pictures. You've seen them before. Uh, Unicron. And then we got some, uh, what's it, Cryotech versus Beast Machines, uh, Primal Prime. And then you have uh, Tigerhawk. And there you got Predator King, and you have Mega Supreme versus Devastator there. Megatron Optimus. There's a nice little picture of Trypticon there. And you have uh, Retgar and Unicron. And there's Rodimus Prime and Galvatron. There's Hound, and then you have Cyclonus, Skywarp, Megatron from uh, Beast Wars. There's Ironhide and Inferno. And Starscream, uh, it says, and Megatron. Oh, he's holding Megatron in his gun mode, okay. There's Soundwave and all those little cassettes there. So you got Laserbeak, uh, you got Ratbat up there. There's Buzzsaw, there's Slugfest, uh, there's Overkill, Ravage, and I'm going to say Frenzy. Oh, or, or uh, yeah, Rumble. And then there's Frenzy back there. I know it's you can go back and forth with them, but um, I always think the purple one is uh, Rumble. And there's a nice little battle scene right there. So, like, that would be something cool to, uh, you know, get blown up if it hasn't been on already and uh, put that on your wall. All the little cassettes and minions and stuff like that. Blaster and Soundwave. I'm not sure if there's one with, uh, you know, their uh, Headmaster versions, Twin Cast and uh, Sound Blaster. But uh, there's uh, Ultra Magnus. That's a nice little Galvatron picture right there. And you have a Star Convoy, and there is Bludgeon. And this is where I'm going to kind of end it right here, and I will make a part two. Uh, this is going to kind of start in the Beast Machines, because there's still some Generation 1 in there. But uh, thanks a lot for watching part one. You know, maybe it kind of gives you an idea on this if this is something that you'd like to purchase. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this? If so, then I'll probably do a little review on the Vault, which is a little bit cheaper, a little bit more affordable. I think you get that for like 20 30 bucks, something like that. So uh, I'll see you in part two.